Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan and I bring Spellbinders products here to Achanda. Spellbinders are an American based company and they have been in the industry for well over 15 years. Spellbinders have always brought us dyes with stunning detail, but today you will find tools, dyes and stamps within the Spellbinder range. What I love about Spellbinders is their partnership with licensed designers. This always keeps my creativity flowing. I hope to inspire you with lots of hints and tips on how to use your Spellbinder products. So join us for the Spellbinder shows here on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, apologies. I was just chatting to Sue. Uh, welcome to Ho Chanda this morning. We're starting things off with Daisy Chain Designs, and I have got the lovely Sue joining me. Hello, Sue. Hello. Jo, we were we were chatting because your last show was literally just before lockdown. Uh, the last time I came, yeah, it was the beginning of March. So it was the weekend before we went into just lockdown. Just about, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. How have you been? Just ago. We've been talking about hair. Uh, grown yeah, hair. as you can see, I haven't been to the hairdressers yet, Yanis. So, Sue is uh, very diplomatic. Uh, she <laughs> said to me, so have you managed to get an appointment with your hairdresser? I was like, no. Uh, no, we were saying, um, I've kind of got to that point where I think I'm going to leave at this link for a while. Yeah, I think I'm going to probably leave mine as well, because yeah. I never would have had the patience yeah. to grow it normally. Yeah, it looks very nice. Thank you. There you go. Now, we've got some interesting things. How yep. are, How's everyone been during lockdown? Have you guys been, I would imagine it's a good time to sort of create uh, uh, new kits and designs? Yes, yes, I've been working quite hard. I've moved house fairly recently, so I've been trying to unpack oh, okay. and do all that stuff. But yes, we yeah. have been working hard, um, preparing things. And, uh, and yeah. You've brought us beautiful kits. How's Sue and Gail? Uh, they're fine, thank you. Yeah. Obviously, I haven't seen them, but no. we speak on the phone. So okay, uh, nice. yeah, they're both fine. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. You have got a lovely team. Uh, okay, so we're yeah. going to get through the uh, kits. 
I'm going to tell you something. You might get in trouble, but uh, you can go ahead uh, if you shop ahead on the website. So what we're doing, we're going to have a different focus at 11, and 11 o'clock, it's going to be all about Christmas. The only reason I mention it is it's already proving popular. Some people are getting ahead and discovered it, and I don't want you to miss out. So uh, go and have a little look, because there are some great options uh, coming up at 11, but you can get ahead by now, and then obviously watch the demonstrations at 11. So let's start here, 9.99. We have got the Daisy Chains, teardrop flowers uh, cushion pattern and paper pieces so you're getting your paper pieces which you can see here for those beautiful uh, it's a teardrop flowers really really nice and then uh, obviously you're getting the instructions one thing I will say and anyone who's ever bought anything from uh, Daisy Chain designs before will know how good the patterns are and it's something that Sue Sue and Gail all uh, pride themselves on is ensuring that the uh, patterns are clear uh, comprehensive there's nothing worse, Sue. And I, I remember chatting to you all when you were all coming in and saying, it's nothing more frustrating. You get a pattern and then it will say something like, so as desired. Yeah. That doesn't help quilters. me. No. Tell no. me what I need to do. That's yeah, why I buy the pattern. Yeah. yeah, we do try to put everything in there yeah. if we can. It's a lovely cushion. Just having a little look at this and just showing you, because you've got the pattern, uh, I would imagine great opportunity to dip into your stash. But also, I mean, this two cushions here, same pattern, but they look so different. Yeah. Well, it's, it's uh, yeah, there are three different blocks all together, yeah. and uh, the teardrop flowers are the common factor uh -huh. in there. Oh, I love and that. And even they're different on each cushion. Now, having a, a, a darker background and then the lighter flowers really make them pop. Beautiful. So you are getting the instructions, you're getting the paper pieces as well. $9.99 your price, 304-373 your item number. We've got more goodies for you. Taking a look here. So... Uh, now, this is one of Gail's designs, it's right? A, uh, the cushion? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. This is, I mean, so whimsical. Uh, what a beautiful feature cushion. And one thing with yourself, uh, Sue and Gail, Sue, mm -hmm. uh, it's confusing, because yeah. we've got Sue in the studio and then we've got uh, other Sue, but um, you guys, you put so much detail into all your designs. I mean, this is, it's, it's a whole scene, but it comes to life. Mm, it's beautiful. I love the little rocky path that you've got there, the cobbled path, the archway around the door, all, and you've got the fence coming through, this beautiful mushroom. Uh, so look, what you're getting here, it is uh, with, with the kit, and we kind of call it the, the felt starter kit because Daisy Chain Designs, they give you everything you need that you might struggle with, and then you can obviously add further embellishments and buttons and uh, things in. So you are getting the full pattern in the mix, you're getting your felt, and you're even getting some flowers and embellishments there as well. For eleven ninety nine, considering you're getting the pattern, which I'll just show you. So here's the pattern. And this is what I'm saying. When we talk about a pattern, it's multiple, multiple play pages coming through. You can see there. It's not just a one-page pattern. It's really comprehensive and detailed. You've got all the designs in there. So any purchase you make, Daisy Chain Designs, if you are going to get a pattern, I mean, that's more like a booklet, really, the amount of pages that you are getting. Uh, 11 99 at your price. Imagine the... Where, I mean, Sue, where would you be putting this in your home? Uh, I'd put that in my lounge, actually. That would be lovely yeah. in the lounge. Yeah, a real nice pop of colour. Yeah, I think conservatory yeah. or... Yeah. Even in a bedroom, a guest bedroom. Imagine a guest bedroom that. would be very welcoming, wouldn't it? Yeah, I Make think it so. Very uh, it is a lovely cushion, and it's uh, going to, I think, going to be, whenever we featured it before, it's been popular. So uh, I would imagine it's going to be popular this hour. 11 99 your price, 971-145, your item number. Uh, okay, now we've got more. This is uh, Beachside Memories. Oh, sorry, Seaside Memories. Look at this. And they even, they even turn. <laughs> this is lovely. It is a splash of a seaside in a, in a safe way. Yeah. We've all seen the pictures of oh. uh, crowded beaches. Yeah. So you can bring the beach to you. Uh, and this instantly, I think we get like, it's not muscle memory, but you get that memory, you know, like sense can sometimes trigger a memory. Looking at that, seeing the uh, bucket and the spade, all those elements, they, they suddenly conjure up all those memories, those good memories of holidays. Mm. You're a fan of building sand castles, Sue? I yes, I do. I'd yeah. like to go and build the sim with my grandson when it's all oh, that, a bit quieter. How, how old's your grandson? He's coming up to three. Well, that's a cute age. It's a lovely age. That's an age where yeah. you can sit and help build sandcastles with them. Very yeah. cute. What's his name? Jack. Jack. 
Very cool. Okay, so there we go. Details on your screen. Thirteen uh, ninety nine is your price. Let's just have a look at what we are getting. Oh, I've got a lift. Mm, let me see. They're probably going to fall, but you are getting these beautiful buttons in there. So you've got the flip flops. I discovered something interesting. Uh, do you know what they call flip flops in Australia? No. Thongs. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> A little bit awkward, but yeah, there you go. Uh, so that's what they call flip-flops in Australia. Uh, just taking a look here, we've got, again, just such a good, comprehensive uh, page of instructions. There you go. So, look, lots going on there. So uh, $13.99 is your price, but it is a beautiful cushion. I'm also noticing here you're getting some, uh, is it interfacing? Yes, yeah, yeah, I think that's to make the windmills. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. They, yeah, they've got to be stiffened. Yeah. Okay. And you can turn these, or I'm not doing yeah, any damage. Well, yeah. Yeah. To I a think degree. so. To, to yeah. a degree. Don't I would be gentle on, with them. Don't keep on turning them. No. Uh, okay. Seven one six six nine six. Your item number. Okay. Now we've got a beautiful bag. This is your hexi bag. This is. I mean, this is lovely. Thank is this you. One of your designs. It here? is one of my designs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the design. Yeah, it's uh, based on hexagons. As anybody will know, I'm very fond of hexagons, but they're larger hexagons. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's an acrylic hexagon template uh, with it, I, th I believe. And the best thing about it is it's reversible. Oh. So you can turn it round, and on the inside it's denim. Wow. So I've done it, and it's quite um, sturdy, it stands up on its own. Nice beach bag. It's just a, a, a lovely little sort of catch-all bag, day yeah. bag, grab it. Uh, well, I like both Useful. sides. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? I like the red, I put the red stitching as a contrast on the other one. So, yes, it is a nice bag. And actually, once you can make it, if you wanted to do it in different sizes of hexagons, you could do once you've got the idea. But we've done it in a basic, basic when, quite large hexagon. When you think about it, Sue, we've got all our instructions. Yeah. So you're getting multiple pages of instructions and I'm sorry I'm not really showing these instructions very well but I just want to give that indication that you it's not just a one page uh, wonder you're getting multiple inst uh, instructions and you're getting your templates you're getting your acrylic uh, hexagon and also the circle now what's the purpose of the uh, circle? The circle's called a widget uh -huh. and that will if you roll if you put a pencil in the hole in the center of the circle yeah. and roll it around the template yeah. when it's on your fabric it adds the seam allowance for you uh, it adds yeah. half an inch seam allowance that's very nifty it's very clever lovely andy from uh, crafty uk he's makes a good them. guy andy he makes them for us so. i haven't worked with andy i haven't worked with andy in, in years it's been a while. We just yeah. keep missing each other. Yeah, oh, he's lovely. The first time I worked with Andy, I made the mistake for some reason. Have you ever looked at someone and felt their name, a uh, different name? Uh, sometimes. Well, I called him yes, Mark. Oh. I've never done that on TV before. And we yeah. laughed about it. And he reminded me about it the second time I worked with him. Mm. And I called him Mark again. I don't know what it is. But Andy <laughs> is a great guy. So uh, you've got your templates there. Eleven ninety nine. your price. Three four seven six two two. your item number. Okay. This is cute. Cute. We love a little sloth. Look at this, a real character cushion uh, here. You're getting, uh, it is a kit, so you are getting your pattern, you're also getting your felt starter kit. What a character. Oh, now that's a lot of fun, especially maybe for a child's bedroom. I think. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I think that's cute. So you've got your sloth, he's a very friendly sloth. Uh, look at all of this, though. Or, or it is she? Sorry, it's, it's Susie. It's she, it's Susie. I, I apologise, Susie. That was that, my, my bad. Uh, <laughs> but look at everything that you're getting. So all of this felt. I love that. That grey is beautiful. And you're also getting a cheeky little template in for the leaves. Yes, to help you make the leaves. You can see that there. You've got your acrylic template for the leaves as well. So I mean, for seventeen ninety nine, and of course you're getting your comprehensive instructions too. If you're ever bored, go on to uh, the, the social media platform where you can find lots of videos. Just type in sloth crossing the street. You oh, ever seen it? No. So this a sloth somewhere in Thailand is crossing a street. Oh. The, guy, the car stops. Mm. The guy picks up the sloth because he doesn't want to get run over. Mm. Puts it on the tree. And as he's walking away, sloth gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> so you've got to watch it. Yeah. See, Charlotte, you were going, oh, not another story, but you're going to watch it. You're going to watch it. Uh, 17 49 is your price, saving £4. 326-077, your item number. Right, we're going to move on. We've got another beautiful cushion. 
one of your designs? Yes, yeah, yeah. both of those are mine. I, I can't, Jill, I, I get a sense of yeah. your work. Was the sloth as well? Yeah. I apologise. So yep, yep. Uh, this, is, this is lovely. Tell us a little bit about this. Uh. Yes, again, it's uh, made of felts, which yep. are included uh, in the, I think you've got a felt starter kit. Uh -huh. And uh, I've made the flowers using, again, the, uh, the little round widget shapes. I think there are two different sizes, possibly, yeah, and, and, uh, and, then you get the and leaf. a leaf yep, as well. Right. So, uh, yeah, so they're easy to put together very forgiving if you want to have a play around with some embroidery mm -hmm. I've done very very simple stitching on it but you could really go to town on okay. the embroidery on that if you wanted to so we're getting three of the acrylic templates you're getting all of this beautiful felt this yep. gray I've got to show you I mean that gray is just fantastic Oh, it's lovely beautiful wool felt the, lovely yeah, yeah lovely wool felt like that and then you've got your punches of color coming through yep. what a beautiful cushion to make uh, 1749 is your price there uh, with you know, pretty much I know we talk about starter kit but I'm looking, I, you've pretty much covered yourself I think it, there. I think everything's in there actually looking at yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a great kit. So there we go, a real feature cushion. I think there's certain cushions that really do lift a room. Mm. And I think this is definitely falls into that bracket. Uh, three, uh, sorry, 218345, your item number. We've got now some starry stitches for you. Uh, you do love your stitching. I do. And you like your red work I as well? I love red work, yeah. yes. I do love it. So just showing you here. Can I, do you mind if I pick this up? No, no, up? please go right? ahead. The quilt's uh, hanging up, I think. Oh, wow. I mean, that is comprehensive. So, 1999, we will show you the quilt. I remember doing this with you. Yeah. You've done this before, right? We have, yeah. yes. We did it last Christmas, I think. This is stunning. Um, where is the quilt? Is it just behind me? It's just behind oh, you. Oh, it's right behind me. We'll have a look. It's just yeah. over my. Uh, there we go. I'll move. I'll move out of the way. But you can see, uh, it is a wonderful quilt, and it's one of those you really need to see it once it's uh, the finished example, just to appreciate. I mean, that is stunning, and it also we did mention at the start of the show that at eleven o'clock we are going to be focusing on Christmas makes, and very quickly. I'm being cheeky here. I shouldn't be doing this because. We wanted to save this for 11 and we don't want to sell out at 11. But can you just tell us a little bit about these? Yes, um, I've designed 24 little uh, stockings, each with a different design, ready for, uh, ad I've called it an advent uh, stocking. So it's like an ad advent calendar, but you can move it around from place to place. For 14 99 Yes, I can't, I can't read See, it. See, that's incredible. Here. You're getting pre-printed uh, red works. Now, you yeah. can get packs as well. This is just for the panel. But yeah. for $14.99 for that panel, and then we have got kits. Uh, sorry, you've got the pattern at the bottom there for uh, $9.99. That is that is really good going. Mm -hmm. It's going to be popular. And the thing is, any regular viewers, <laughs> actually, I've been told not to talk about this because we want to save for 11 Look, we really are busy for that option as well. And I can see why a lot of people are getting ready for their Christmas makes. So do jump ahead. We're going to uh, now head over to Sue for our first demonstration. What are we going to be doing, Sue? Yes, I'm going to talk about the teardrop flower cushions. Mm. Okay, lovely. So, uh, yes, English paper piecing, one of my favourite. So I love um, English paper piecing. And uh, I've got, I sourced these particular teardrop shapes from... Um, Lena Patchwork, one, another of the suppliers that we work with, who's okay. also been on her chanda, uh, and uh, she suggested that I have a go at making something with them because they're very uh, easy and uh, nice to, to play with. So I played with them right. uh, in the burning hot sun, sunshine, of course. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So did some crafting outside? Uh, yeah, I sit, I've been sitting outside on my new patio. So, so um, this is a nice way to craft. It is, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah it's lovely. I could yeah. do with a more comfortable seat. I did end up with backache. Okay. Well, but, you need to get, uh, get yourself a comfy stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's lovely working outside. So I'll just run through English paper piecing with you. Um, these are the pieces. Uh, one cushion has uh, one sort of flower and the other cushion has a different flower. Okay. So I'll talk about the uh, navy cushion with the white flowers on. Um, you'll notice that there is a curved edge on these. Yeah. Um, and there are lots of ways of approaching this, but my favourite way is to tack. So my first job would be to lay my uh, English paper piece onto my fabric. So I've done it in white, so you can't quite see, but there's the edge. And I cut it out quite roughly with about a generous quarter of an inch, okay. but not, not, too, not, a not too huge, otherwise you won't be able to get it smooth. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the 
paper pieces are, are quite substantial, they're quite thick. Mm. So you can, act, cause the idea is that you actually pull the um, fabric over the edge and yeah. stitch through it. These, I'm a tacker. My grandma, this is how she taught me to do English paper piecing. And I've tried the other ways, but I just can't really leave this one alone. Okay. This is my favourite. Do what works for you. Yeah, I think you do. I mean, uh, some people like to glue, and gluing is absolutely fine as well. Mm -hmm. It's harder to reuse the pieces if you glue. Okay. Um, because if you want to make both cushions, you will have to reuse some of the larger teardrops. Okay. But um, so tacking makes it easier. Yeah, tack and actually, once they've been tacked and used, they're actually easier to use the second time round because mm. you've already got holes in them. Yeah. So I, I often reuse. And to keep the costs down, we decided that that was a, a good option. Nice. So, but you've got in the instructions are in there for both okay. of that. So once you've tacked it round, you can see I'm trying to pull it over the curve. I've pulled it over the curve and try and make it as smooth as you can. If I turn it over, you can see it's reasonably smooth. But my tacking stitches down the side are quite big. But when I get onto the curve, they get smaller and smaller. Right. Make life easy for yourself by using a contrasting thread. Mm -hmm. If I'd used a white thread, those That's tacking thing. stitches have to come out. Yeah. And believe me, I did a sample and forgot and used a white thread and it was an absolute pain. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm talking to Yanis, who's sitting just here as well. I'm trying to keep you company. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's nice to have somebody to chat okay. to. So um, the next job is to uh, actually sew the pieces together. Oh, nice. Now you don't have to worry about this little ear at the bottom because it's going to it it just flicks out of the way. Yeah. Just move it out of the way. And the the way that I would sew them together is using a whip stitch. So I'm going to put those two together. I all I sew the flowers together before I take the papers out. Okay. So which it does say in the pattern. And then starting down in the corner, you, it's not massive, it doesn't have to be massively accurate because actually you're going to be covering a, all these little ears with a centre. Oh, right. I put a nice yellow centre yeah. as if it's a daisy and I put five petals together it's a lovely design, one. Sue. I'm looking at that. I also think it would make nice plumage for a peacock. Yes. Now, I have had a go at a peacock before yeah. um, in using a different method. Yeah. And I st I've still got it. It's still in pieces in oh. my workroom. I should really try and get it out because I yeah. bought some lovely fabric for yeah. it. But, uh, yes, it would work as a peacock. I've also made a butterfly um. and I've used them for bird's wings. Oh, fantastic. For when I was teaching, but I thought to start, I might yeah. drag those out of the cupboard yeah. and Something give them a the whirl. Something for the future. You can see. So this is a whip stitch that goes over and over. Mm -hmm. um, because these are being appliqued onto a background, you can do this fairly quickly. It doesn't need, it, it doesn't have to support itself. Yeah. It's got the background to support it. So I'll just finish off with a double stitch and I always finish off with a double stitch and then just pop my thread through there and pull it and it broke itself which okay. is jolly useful because I don't know where my scissors are. So <laughs> there you have um, Beautiful. one of the one of the uh, flowers there and I just want to have a quick word about applique. Yeah. I've actually got a piece ready to show you. Now the applique stitch, I don't think I've ever demonstrated the applique stitch on um, Hachanda, oh. hand applique. These have been prepared. Nice. And uh, I'm all ready with my needle and thread. I've got a matching thread. So this is a Hochandra exclusive now. And a knot on the end. You can see the knot. Um, now, hand applique. I'm not as good at it as a lot of people, but I am okay. okay. Some people really specialise in it. Um, and you applique the flowers on before you put the centre on. So I am bringing the needle up into the fold. The, the, when you create applique pieces using English paper piecing, you do get a lovely fold mm. so you can hide your stitches. So I'm just going to bring it up in the fold like that. This is quite thick white thread. You could use finer white thread. Uh, and then I'm going to go straight back down so the the least amount of thread is showing on the front. You can barely see it. I'm going to come up again in the fold. So okay. the longer stitch is underneath once you get used to it. So there, can you see? I'm yeah. going straight back down. Where the stitch came out, it goes back down again, just into the background. 
and I think I might have missed that one. But you see, they disappear yeah. into the fold almost completely. And you can help yourself by using a very fine thread or even a silk thread. Silk threads are brilliant for, for hand applique because they, they're so fine mm. that they just disappear into the fabric. Could you? I'm looking at this now. Yeah. Uh, and I, maybe it's because of the darkness of the blue. But you can imagine this maybe on a denim jacket, putting yep. the applique designs onto a jacket. Yep, yep. I've got, to, um, I've got a friend who's got a mark on her favourite um, sweatshirt okay, yeah. and she wants me to applique something onto to cover Brilliant. it up because she you know she's very fond of this particular sweatshirt yeah. and I'm probably going to do it like this because it's it's a woven fabric I don't really want to put yeah. my machine onto it uh -huh. so you can see the stitches of, yeah, nice the, the uh, you can see the stitches have more or less disappeared uh -huh. I pinned it quite securely before I started to stitch it on right. So that's how you would stitch them onto the background. Okay. Just put the needle in there. Um, I'm concentrating on the hand aspects of this particular pattern at the moment. Okay. The other flower you can see is um, oh, the daisy is it, with the yellow center is five, and the other flower is actually eight petals. And you can see all the center has all the little ear bits are underneath, and they twirl around so that it makes it flat in the centre. So if you press it with them sort of twirled round like that, yeah. you can see. That's not too bad, actually. That's, that's not too shabby. Well, that's very pretty. I know we're looking at the, uh, the reverse, but that's stunning. And, and just thinking about the fabric that we have in our stash, yeah. being able to make this flower, and you can go in so many different directions yeah. with it. Yeah, I, my main aim in life is to try to use up this massive stash that I've accumulated over the years. Believe me, I really regretted it when I was moving house. Um, and I, couldn't, I then, just can't bear to throw any of it away. Did you discover fabrics that you forgot you had, though? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did keep discovering things. I forgot, I found loads of things that I thought I didn't have, uh -huh. including the hexagon bag, which Sue was really cross with me. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. Um, so you can see, I've only made three of the top petals yeah. but you would make pick out uh, a nice contrasting fabric Lovely. and make eight of the petals and put it on top and then again they have the center on top as well so they're very pretty easy flowers yeah. to deal with um, and make just make a different nice feature mm -hmm. and I like combining English paper piecing with some normal piecing so each each one ha also has blocks in as well which I'll demonstrate in a moment I believe Danny, Am I right? Yes. Uh, w would it be now a good time just to have a quick recap? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? You go for it. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sue. Uh, look, we're just going to do a quick recap and then we will get back to Sue. I uh, just wanted to show you, so now, patterns, you're getting the pattern and the English uh, paper piecing, which you can see here, that beautiful teardrop. Uh, I'm really pleased that I know it's early and it's a Sunday, so we wouldn't begrudge you wanting to sleep in, but a lot of you have got up to spend the morning with us, so thanks so much. 20% of the stock has gone already for this beautiful cushion. When you think about, so it is just the pattern, but two remarkably different designs, and then you have got so much scope to personalize it further. So if we just have a look, here's one option, and this was, uh, we were just showing the technique, so appliqueing on that uh, Sue just uh, kindly demonstrated. I mean, that looks stunning. So think about the fabrics that you have in your stash, beautiful colors uh, that you want to represent, or same pattern, you're able to achieve totally, I mean, that looks very, very different. Nine ninety nine is your price. Three zero four three seven three your item number, and we're getting the pattern. Uh, and as I, I always say, with pattern, so you can just see there's the front cover that you're going to be getting. It is multiple pages. So going through here, all of that. This is all in one pattern. And the only reason I'm stressing this is if as a sewer you've ever bought a pattern and it's just been one A4 page uh, and a lot of it is just so as desired, that's no help. But you don't get that with the Daisy Chain Designs. The patterns are so comprehensive and you get uh, everything that you need. So a lot going on here. It is a beautiful, beautiful pattern uh, that you can expand. And you've also got the English paper piecing. So uh, effectively, Daisy Chain Designs have done all the hard work for you. There's the little teardrop design. I'm a big fan of this. Now we're over 20% of the stock. And if you can imagine this in your home, if you've got the right fabric and like Sue, you've got a stash at home and you're looking for projects, this is a good option for you. Uh, okay, now, uh, we, oh, I'm glad, oh, no. 
All right, I'm going to get in trouble here. We're going to show you the stockings. I'll tell you why. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, no. Okay, this is, I'll tell you. So we had a meeting, and it was agreed, and I was told, don't mention the Christmas, because we knew it was going to be popular. So, Yanis, don't mention the Christmas. When we go on air, don't mention the Christmas. I mentioned the Christmas, and uh, now <laughs> Charlotte's like, what did you do? We're at 60% of the stock. I know, that's a little... That is why we don't mention Christmas. Uh, look, uh, I'm, I, I'm going to take the blame for this. I'm so sorry, and I can only apologize to the team later on. So uh, what I would say is, seriously, if you want to get a hold of this, well done getting up early, because if it does sell out, it's going to be an extended delivery, and that's if we can get hold of more stock. If we're at 60% of the stock now, and we're not even featuring it this hour, you can imagine how busy it is going to be later on. So seriously, if you want to get hold of this, now is the time. 229-740, your item number. Uh, then the pattern to go with it as well. We got the patterns. There you go. Uh, 9.99 uh, for the patterns. So your day's chain designs uh, and also shopping ahead for that. Don't do it. You're going to get me in trouble. Oh no. I I'll be honest. When I mentioned it, I really didn't think it was going to be that busy. Uh, we're going to go back to Sue. Sue. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> but they are. I mean, the stockings are. They're beautiful. And you, you. you love your red work. I do love red work. And you can imagine. See, this is the kind of thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be sure. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying. <laughs> look, don't, don't look at it. But this is the Stop kind of thing you'd bring out every year, wouldn't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. Stunning. I wish I had time to make another one because I'd like one. Yeah. Well, I can see Jack. that. There are certain ornaments. And I've still got. I remember as a child helping my parents decorate the Christmas tree. And there are certain ornaments my parents still put on the tree or decorations. And these kind of things, they're going to be heirlooms that every year you put them out. I think mm. they're beautiful. Thank you. OK, now over 60. Seriously, don't. So you're going to get me in trouble. No one look at those. Uh, what are we going to do next? Uh, I'm going to talk about the blocks on okay. the teardrop cushions because yeah. they're quite quite fun to talk about. So there are three different blocks yeah. on there. We've got um, pinwheels or windmills. Um, uh -huh. So they are that sort of arrangement. And they're very easy to make. You cut um, a background piece okay. and the size of the square is in the pattern and you cut a colored piece put them right sides together and draw a line from corner to corner I think people have seen this quite a bit and stitch down the qu either side of the quarter inch and then when you split them apart it makes a lovely half square triangle but I will go through it again because it's such an easy way to uh, to make them um, Oh, I've lost my foot pedal. Oh, there it is. I'll just quickly whip down either side. I've drawn the quarter inch on. I've got my quarter inch foot on the sewing machine as well. You don't have to finish off. i try and get my arm out of the way. Um, you just pull it round and then stitch down the other side. And then whoop, quickly. I'm doing this really, really quickly. It's good to have a reminder of these things, and then I'm going to take. I'm just normally I stand up when I'm rotary cutting, but I, haven't, I, I can't keep okay. standing up and down, so I'm just going to stretch over, release my thing, cut them in half, and what then when you open them up, yeah. you have lovely, perfect half square triangles, exactly the right shape. Right. I think the size of the square is something like two and seven eighths. Mm -hmm. So if you're worried about measuring two and seven eighths, think how close it is to three mm -hmm. and find the three and then just go Work one tiny little division back. Okay. So uh, it's, it sounds a bit daunting, but actually it isn't at all. And then when you put the pinwheel together, that's how it works. So I'll just, I would normally press these, but I've forgotten to put the iron on. So it goes like that. Yeah. So that is one of the blocks, a very pretty little pinwheel. Yeah. So quick and easy. Almost looks as if the flowers are growing out of the, out of the pinwheel. Mm -hmm. The other block for this one incorporates a very, very clever technique. Um, it's called, the block is called Evening Star. And it in, it's quite a small block. They're only four inch blocks, but don't let that put you off because I've included mm -hmm. uh, things to make it easy okay. for them to deal with. Um, so um, an evening star has effectively uh, four lots of flying geese. Mm -hmm. And I've included in the pattern a very quick and easy way to make the small flying geese, mm -hmm. which I'll run through quickly now. You can see I've got um, 
my background fabric here and actually I've just noticed I've pinned them on the wrong side rather than the right side. So you put them right sides together, not wrong sides together like I just oh, okay. did. Well, that, I mean, that you'll be forgiven because traditionally so many techniques, it's always wrong sides. Uh, well, usually, in fact, patchwork and quilting, it's right side oh, to right side. Around. Okay. Yeah, it's right side to right side, Jenny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <Don't. laughs> Almost invariably. <laughs> right. so, I, I retract my statement. Yeah, retract your statement quick. <laughs> 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 right, I don't want to confuse people. Okay. So I've put them onto this background piece here, and all the sizes are in the pattern. <laughs> and I can, don't, stop giggling. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to stitch across both of these. And now, okay. I have got one I made earlier, so I'll just go across one side. Uh -huh. And again, it's the same technique that you've got a line from centre to centre and then a line a quarter of an inch away. I've done this previously. So you end up with two pieces, cut them up, and the two pieces, when you open them up, there they are, opened up, press mm -hmm. them, and they end up sort of looking like very strange hearts. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so you get another square. You need four of these little squares. Mm -hmm. And again, it's the same thing, marked corner to corner and quarter of an inch away. I'm going to slide that underneath. It's kind of get, I, I know they're flying geese, but it's getting on for a little bit of a prairie point as well. Yes. Oh, well done. Sort hmm. of. Have I redeemed myself? Mm. No. OK. <laughs> yes, you give me, give me the rest of the hour. I'll try to get a few more. <laughs> no, they are. <laughs> prairie points are certainly that shape. You do yeah. know a lot these days, a don't bit. you? You say that, I just was st stressing about the wrong size for the wrong side. I let, yeah. let myself down there. Yeah, you did but a bit. I am, I'm learning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you are. Try and keep my arm out of the way. Right, and now, whoops, I'm going to cut those up. And as soon as I cut down here, normally using a rule, I'm just going to do it freehand. You will see, as I bring them back to the table, there you have oh, a tiny nice. little flying geese. That's Four lovely. of those make the stars, uh, make the points of the evening stars and it's so neat and easy so that's to a, do. That's a really nice technique. Thank you. Yeah, I like Have that. you seen that one before? No, I ah. haven't. I've seen, I'm, I've seen flying geese before but I ha absolutely haven't seen that technique before. You know there are about ten different ways to make flying geese oh, and this okay. is probably my favourite. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's really quirky. It's on the, it's on the web. Yeah. I mean I didn't invent, I'd like to say I invented it but okay. sadly I didn't. You um, shared it with us. So I have shared it. And, and written the instructions so that they're the right size. The, the instructions right. on the internet are, are ju just a generic size. Yeah. So, uh, okay. and you can, you are allowed to share them. Yeah. Haven't, haven't stolen no, it. No, of course not. Well, so, uh, never think says, you'd do that. No, yeah. no. No, so there you are. You've got this lovely little uh, set of flying geese, uh -huh. which is going to make the um, points for the star. Now, the final block, just move all that out of the way, is called uh, Amish pineapple. Yeah. And again, it's a very pretty block. An Amish pineapple. Amish pineapple. And it starts off with Is that a because square. the name, is it, did it originate from uh, Amish community? Uh, possibly. Yeah. Possibly. They, I mean, normally pineapple, you, would, you wouldn't dream of doing it like this. You'd do it uh, with um, foundation piecing. Right. That's how I normally do pineapple. Yeah. But this little four inch block is called Amish pineapple yeah. and it's a it's yeah. one of my favourite blocks actually. Right. And it's it's nothing, very pretty. When we say pineapple, that's just the name for it. You're not making a pineapple here just for anyone who's watching it. No, it'd be a bit sticky. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you made a pineapple. Yeah. Right, so again, you st it, again, it's a similar sort of technique in that you're marking uh, a line from corner to corner, but in this case, this is a, this is called stitch and flip. Right. This is the lovely thing about patchwork and quilting. There's always lots of different ways to do things, yeah. and once you get familiar with it, then you can choose the way that you like best. Right. And I don't like dealing with try, try, trying to join triangles together, so I will always try to work with a square if I can. I know there's a bit of waste, but it's not a massive amount of waste. Yeah. Now this time, I'm not going to stitch at either side of the line. I'm going to stitch on the line all right. because all I'm going to do is replace one corner with another corner and right. actually to start with this block is cut is a snowball mm. now normally I'd use my rotary cutter but I'll just cut it off with my scissors so you can see and then if I flip it open 
I've replaced one corner with a different corner and it's called stitch and flip and it's stitch and flip for a reason. Okay. You have to stitch and then flip. flip. Okay. Um, so you flip and press and then you carry on until you've replaced all four corners. So actually you create a block called square in a square okay. to start with. Yeah. Um, and then the square in the square has the strips of fabric are put around it uh -huh. and then you start again in the corners so you start to replace these corners that you've created yeah. and that's how it makes the pineapple so I'll just do the first corner okay. so again um, I'm stitching from corner to corner and it's right sides together yeah Right side always? Always. Oh. <laughs> I, I got confused. Of course it's always right side I will let you. It is yeah. early in the morning, Yanis. Yeah. And you have really impressed me with your knowledge of Prairie Point. Thank you. I'm very, very, very impressed <laughs> with that. <laughs> so again, kind. yeah. So I'm going to clip those off and move that out of the way. And there, you oh, replace. So you carry on lovely. working around, replacing all the corners, and then you add another border, and then you carry on working around and replacing all the corners. It's unanimous. The whole team said how lovely that looked. Thank you. Yeah, that's really nice. It's really so you're teaching us some great techniques this morning. Good. Isn't and it's it? what time is it? It's really early. It's very, very uh, It is very early. I've been so up since 4 o'clock. 37 past 7. So uh, thank you for getting up. If you have just tuned in, don't worry, because uh, if you've missed the early part of the show, you can always catch up by rewind. So I am in trouble. I should not have mentioned the stockings because they're coming. OK, I'm in real trouble because the stockings were, and genuinely, I'm not trying to hand this up for TV. We had a meeting, and uh, at 11 o'clock, Sue will be back, and the focus will be Christmas. And we're going to be featuring these wonderful stockings designed by Sue. Beautiful red work. Um, now, they're limited stock. You can oh. see that on there. And that's why, in the beginning of our meeting, our producer, Charlotte, and she knows what she's talking about, she gave me one, one job. She said, yes, <laughs> look, we're going to have the stockings behind you. Just don't mention them. I mentioned them. I, I kind of mentioned them. I thought, well, look, they're not going to sell out. They're going to sell out. Oh, no, they've just technically sold out. All right. <sighs> So, the oh, thing is, oh we're no. not doing the later show, but the producer doing the later show is going to be sending me a very angry email. Uh, okay, so, I've got to thank Charlotte, because she's kind of got me out of hot water. She's got on to uh, Days Chain Designs. We managed to get some more stock, so there will be more stock, but it's going to be on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 27th, but you've got an idea now of just how busy. And that's from, we didn't even feature the uh, panel this hour. We looked at some finished examples and I just mentioned it in passing uh, and that showed how busy it's going to be. So imagine next, uh, sorry, no, well, next hour at 11 o'clock uh, when Sue returns, when she focuses on these, how busy we're going to be. My advice, I know it's on extended delivery, but if you've got your eye on it, get it now because if it sells out again, who knows what will happen, but at least you've secured your purchase and then you can sit back, relax and enjoy the demonstrations because we'll still be demonstrating it uh, the next hour. Okay, just going to have a little look at the cushions. Half the stock has gone of these beautiful Daisy Chain Designs teardrop flower cushions. So you're getting the pattern. You're also getting the English paper pieces as well. So in English paper piecing, uh, beautiful teardrop. It's the flexibility of the pattern because Sue was saying, you've got this wonderful flower so just using half the flower looks so effective. You can make that full flower and layer up. So in the background, we can see that's one of the techniques Sue was demonstrating. Uh, we've covered the center, so no one will see the center. So it's very nice and neat. I really like that. But two very, very different flowers, all achieved from that teardrop. Uh, and then you've got the wonderful blocks in there as well. And again, this was what uh, Sue, it was the um, Amish pineapple that Sue was, Amish pineapple there, Sue? Yeah. Yeah, that Sue was just demonstrating. Yeah, learning, learning. <laughs> uh, and just make sure you put right size for right size. Uh, $9.99 <laughs> is your price, 304-373 item number. And of course, you are getting the instructions in there as well. It won't sound like a broken record, but look, that's more like a pamphlet. No way you're just going to get one page of instructions with daisy chains. The instructions are always so good. Going to move on to a cushion, and this is another really nice cushion. Where I think Daisy Chain Designs are so good is you've got two Sues, so both Sues and Gail, uh, all designing, and they, each one, they have their own style. So this is from Gail. Gail loves whimsical, uh, and you can see that there. That is 
a beautiful toadstool. But then I think what really makes this special is the attention to de detail. You've got the windows in there, the shutters, a uh, beautiful door, cobbled little path leading up, smaller mushrooms, the fence. I mean, detail, detail, detail. That, I even love the chimney has a toadstool on it. Oh, come on, it's just, it is cute, right? Uh, so what you're getting here, we kind of class it as a starter kit. Uh, you are getting, now is that freezer paper? No? Is that uh, interfacing? Is it shiny on the back? I can't really see. Let's have a little look. It is shiny on the back. Is it sticky? A little bit? Um, yeah, think, it's freezer paper. Freezer paper, yeah. I think it was, I thought it was freezer paper. Yeah, I think so you're, you're right. You're getting some freezer paper in the mix. You're also getting some flowers and you're getting your felt. So it's a starter mm. kit and whenever um, Days of Change Designs, they bring you a starter kit, what they do is put in all the components that you might struggle with, but then they give you that flexibility of being able to add the other additions. It allows them to keep the cost down. Because look, 11.99, you're getting the pattern. That's what I'm talking about with the pattern. And then you're getting the felt and all the other elements in there. I mean, it is just a beautiful, detailed pattern. I mean, it just goes on and on, and I'm skipping over pages here, and on. I mean, in, in a good way. So what, that, to me, is more like a pamphlet, and it's, it's the same with all the designs. So for eleven ninety nine, and a, a third of the stock's gone? A third of the stock. Look, imagine that in your home, and that would look great in any room, I think. Uh, and also age ranges, because it doesn't matter what your age, you'll love that. So it could be in a nursery, or it could be in your office, it could be in your, cons I think conservatory or kitchen would look really nice, or guest bedroom. Eleven ninety nine your price, at 971-145, your item number. Always popular when we bring that. Uh, another beautiful design, this is your Seaside Memories. So another starter kit. We've got uh, some beautiful little buttons that you'll be getting. Um, they're not stuck down, so I'm, I'll gingerly just pick those up. You can just see. So you've got some uh, flip-flops, some starfish in there, and then the actual design. And here, uh, some interfa oh, interfacing too. So you're getting some interfacing, and that allows you to make the uh, wonderful... So how would you describe these sort of uh, pinwheel? How would you describe those? So. A windmill. Windmill. A windmill. Okay, windmill. Okay, simple. I <laughs> okay, I it think. is a windmill. No, I think you're right. It is a windmill. I didn't know whether we were going to get it fancy or not. Okay, so uh, it's lovely. And can I just show you? Can I just pick that up? You can see the beach. Uh, sorry, the, the sand, rather. And the, uh, the little spade. Isn't that nice on the back? It's a lovely, lovely cushion. So what this does, it brings a bit of the summer indoors. So it's fresh, it's fun. Uh, if you are looking for something to give you that seaside feel, great cushion. Thirteen ninety nine your price, 716-696, your item number. Can you imagine how much you would pay if you saw that in the department store? Same. Now we've got our uh, Hexi bag. This is very, very nice. Third of stock has gone here. So I have to say, it's a beautiful bag. So it, what I like about it, it's different. If you are taking this out uh, just a, as a, a day bag, it's functional because you've got a lot of space to put everything in there, but it's going to be different. You haven't got any fear of walking down the high street and seeing three or four other people with the same bag. No. So it's like, no, definitely I not. I wouldn't have thought so. Well, it's beautiful. And I know you love your hexagons. Mm. Yeah. Just showing you, and this will be our next demo. So what you're getting is the pattern for the hexagon bag. It is reversible too. Showed you inside. So fully reversible, we can just, oh, do you know, he's saying it, I might as well show it. There we go. So we can turn it around. So effectively, you're getting two bags in one. So depending on the look. And I like that, having that flexibility to uh, turn a bag inside out. It's just a lovely little feature. So mixing it up, it keeps it fresh. If you are uh, growing a bit tired of one design, then just flip it around and suddenly you've got a brand new bag. Now, what I really like about this, $11.99, you're also getting the widget and the hexagon for $11.99. So we're getting the pattern, you're getting the acrylic template and the widget. Uh, $11.99, your price, 347-622, uh, your item number. Okay. We're going to head back to Sue for our next demonstration. Lovely. Okay, Sue, so what are we going to do? I'm going to talk about the hexagon bag. Lovely. Since you've just been talking about it. So um, using the acrylic template, uh, you cut out hexagons, which are the correct size. You can, those acrylic templates are great because you can actually run your, your rotary cutter around them. Mm -hmm. Try not to cut off the edges, though, because then you'll get, make it less accurate. And this is a violin, which is quite a thick violin. 
So uh, it's not a fine one. I would. I think it's a heavyweight one, okay. and it is. Um, it's iron on. You can see it's shiny. That shows it's iron on. Mm. So once you've cut out your hexagons, you glue them to the wrong side of your fabric. Okay. So yeah, occasionally you do use the wrong side. I'm sorry, yeah. about Janice. Okay. That was really unkind. That's all right. I knew that. Tease you. I was thinking ahead because I, ha I had your hexagon bag in mind when I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so they're glued onto the uh, wrong side of the fabric, and yep. then using glue, uh, okay. because this is this doesn't involve any hand stitching, you simply use glue to pull the edges over. And right. because the violin is a little bit uh, stronger than, it's it's yeah. it's heavy enough yeah. so that you won't pull the hexagon out of shape. Mm -hmm. And once you've completed that, then there you are you've got a nice neat hexagon ready to go you will notice I'm sure that I've drawn some lines here and unusually on this bag some of the hexagons are actually pentagons this is to give the bag shape so oh. you would um, it's effectively you're taking a dart out of the hexagon to make it into a pentagon you can see and then it makes it 3d already uh, and that's for the corners okay so there's a very uh, good diagram in there Brilliant. that which shows you the layout that's of the clever. hexagon bag and it's subtle because obviously it's functional to make the corners but you wouldn't necessarily see it it blends into the design yeah it does it does it just makes the corners yeah. nicely okay. and i've got a little mock-up here of uh, the layout of the hexagon so bag so you can down. see this is scaled down massively and I made mm -hmm. these by hand because actually I was using them for something else I thought oh, I'll use them for my demo oh, nice. so um, you pull the pieces together and, and it's it starts to form the bag you can stitch it on the sewing machine and actually just to demonstrate um, you would stitch all those together on the sewing machine and those yeah. are all stitched on the sewing machine um, you simply put your hexagons put the corners up together and then add a zigzag stitch on your mm -hmm. sewing machine and th this is where you can see on the uh, denim side I've used a red thread so I actually start a little bit down the hexagon because I'm, I want to make it really secure when I'm stitching so I'm going to stitch a little bit and then I'm going to reverse I'm going to reverse back up to the middle catching in the thread and then I'm going to come back down over it I want to make absolutely certain you actually make two bags and then put one inside the other oh. that's how it works so the outer bag is uh, lots of different blue fabrics yeah. again my aim to try to use up my horrendous stash, stash. Um, and then uh, I made a denim lining I like a denim uh, and denim of course is a bit more substantial so then you come back down again And that's how they're stitched together. Okay. Even the ones that have got the dart in are stitched in the same way, but you have to lay them out as it shows in the diagram. And then I've numbered all the edges, and they, you bring edge one to edge one and stitch it, and edge two yeah. to edge two. Yeah. And so it comes up to make, so make a really lovely bag. And because you've got two bags, one that fits inside the other, then the handles can be push push down in between the two bags and stitched into place so really firm so it's a really firm, so it's a really firm uh, bag and it's all done on the machine oh. so uh, it makes it really nice and firm and very useful there's no pockets inside though so um, I did it on purpose like that so that well, you could then you can reverse it you can reverse it yeah, yeah so easily if you've no pockets it's great for sewing stuff yeah. and to go to the beach and for your mask and your anti-back and it's everything a, else. It's a nice beach bag. Yeah, it yeah. is a nice beach bag. Lovely. Okay, so. thank you. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the show. We're kind of coming towards the end of the show, but if you do have any questions, if we can't get to them today, then uh, we will well, say so this hour rather, uh, we can get to them at the next hour because we will be returning at 11 and we are talking Christmas. You can just see some Christmas designs back. We've got a snowman. You can find the snowman uh, wreath. Uh, on a website. If you just go to the website, type in Daisy Chain Designs, or if you look at 11 o'clock, you can see the products that are getting featured. Unfortunately, I shouldn't, I did mention the uh, stockings. They've sold out. They're now back on extended delivery. You can still get hold of them uh, right now, and they are stunning. So they're going to be dispatched on the 27th. And we're going to take a look at those again in just a moment because they're proven popular. So the Hexi bag, half the stock has gone here. Should we reverse it back? And we'll just see. 
It is a, it is a great bag. Have you, have you taken the bag out, Sue? Well, I suppose you haven't been going out, have you? I haven't been going out anymore. No, um, no I, I tend to leave my samples at home in case something happens to them. Fair enough. But okay. it would be washable. Well, I just say it's just such a usable bag. Going out, you can imagine uh, it's a, it's a fun bag, and the fact that you can reverse it. But the design is beautiful, and you can make more of a feature of the stitching that we showed inside, having that contrast color as well. Eleven ninety nine. You're getting now. This is the thing. Value for money. You're getting the pattern, but you're also getting the acrylic uh, hexagon and you're getting the widget. So think about going on. What Sue's done is she's taught you techniques which you've used in the bag, then you can go on and explore these techniques for table runners, for your blocks, or for uh, maybe uh, bags or cushions, or whatever it might be. Eleven ninety nine at your price, 347-622. Charlotte, now don't shout at me. Could we do something? Could we, uh, could we have a look at 11 o'clock? Just peek. She's letting me. There we go. Oh, <laughs> thing. Look how quick, you're quick on it, Charlotte. There we go. Uh, so, this is what's coming up at 11 o'clock. Uh, so we are very, very busy. Now, you're going to see some items that we have featured this hour, but there's going to be a lot of Christmas. So wait, let's just have a little look. We've got uh, 18 Christmas decorations with felt starter kit. Oh, for 10.70, wait a second, 10.75? That's amazing. Oh, come on. 10.75 and you're getting the felt starter kit in there as well. Okay, that would be falling into my basket. Already selling, you've got already three star reviews, so we have featured it before. Uh, Charlotte, could we go back, what else have we got? So we, the stockings are sold out, the panel's back on extended delivery. Uh, we've got the patterns in there as well. Uh, we've got the red-white decorations. Oh, now this is uh, really nice when you see this. Look at that. 11.49, so you've got your red work decoration pattern and your felt starter kit as well. Please explore your leisure. Go, go and have a look at the 11 o'clock uh, because there is so much on there and it's, it's going to be a great hour. So yeah. You've, done, you've brought some beautiful stuff there. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to talk about this lovely little cushion. So uh, you can see that you, you like your cushions, but you also bring us something. Every time you bring us design suit, it's got your own little stamp on it and it's a little bit different because I would say that's... Uh, a little bit more modern, yeah. abstract. Yes, yeah. I, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And yeah. that would fit in any home. I think beautiful. Now, the felt, what you're getting here for 1749, uh, it's classed as a starter kit, but to be honest, you're getting everything you really need. Just looking here, you can see the backing of the cushion. Uh, you've got fabric for the backing. You've got fabric for all the applique designs on here. You've even got that gray, which is for the front. And not only that, you are getting your acrylic shapes in there. So the two sizes of the widget and you're getting the uh, flower template or the leaf template, I should say, uh, as well. 1749 your price, 218345 your item number. Now, <laughs> I'm really gonna, I am genuinely gonna be in trouble because uh, the extended delivery for the stockings, 20% uh, of the stock's gone and this is not an out. We weren't even, we were not meant to talk about this this hour. I thought, <laughs> what's the harm in mentioning it? I didn't think it was going to sell out and then 20% of the extended delivery is going to go. So what you'll find, Paola's going to be presenting at 11. The team are going to already start and say, oh, well, we're low on stock. So I can only apologize for that. My advice, if you want to get hold of these, get hold of these. <laughs> I'm going to, the team, I'm yeah. going to get a spank on the hand. Uh, okay, uh, slap, slap on the hand. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded worse than I read it to. Slap on the hand. Uh, go. Fourteen ninety nine. your price. Two two nine seven four zero. your item number. Sue, it's been a pleasure. It has. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Of, you know, it's so nice having guests back in the studio. It's lovely. It's lovely okay. to be back. It uh, really is. It's so such I'm looking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be watching your 11 o'clock hour. I'll be on, on my break. You. I'm going to tune in and watch. Thank you so much. But You're I'm, welcome. Hopefully see you again soon when yeah. you come back. Thank right. you. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Do look out for Daisy Chain, Des uh, Daisy Chain Designs on social media as well because uh, they always love a follow. So we've got plenty more coming up. We're going to take a look at a one-day special. So thank you so much. Thank you for your company. Uh, coming up next, we've got Pink Fresh Pop Outs. Our one-day special is going to be a really nice hour. Uh, after that, we've got Quilting Antics. Anthea is here. And then Nikki's going to be here with Heartfelt Creations. So lots coming up at Hochanda.
Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen.